Right, part two of making a nuclear crossbow bolt. The electroplate did the crossbow bolt, as you can see, in copper. Some nice green on the bottom there. Still got the radioactive beads. Now, some pre placement required on this on the display board. That's where it'll be going inside of that packet there. And I'll staple it to the balsa wood. These are just bits of paper you need gluing on. Which is why you need paper glue. So, let's create this crazy thing. Smooth out any air bubbles. There's one there. A oh. few more to go. You can print these out on a printer very easily. To many designs. Make sure you print them small enough. Nearly oh. slid off there. Pretty much all of this is scrap. The crossbow bolt was rusty mess. I had to restore that. And the shaft here as well. I had to clean that up. It was covered in mud and crud and stuff. And the uranium, that's obviously nuclear waste, so that couldn't be more scrap. The most dangerous scrap available. Nuclear scrap. Not something you really want to handle for a long period of time. Unless you want to get mild radiation sickness after some time in your pocket, leaving it in there if you forget it. So, not something to play with. Glute. Need these now, tack. to hold it in place. You can also use a dab of glue if this isn't enough. Nope, 
fits on there very nice. <laughs> cool. Simple holder. Right. Let's do the arrow. Well, bolt. Right. This is where this bit comes in. I try and limit my exposure to this. It's, it is radioactive and not to a small level. There's uranium after all. And that's why the exacto knife spike. Come on, zoom. Ooh, can't really zoom on it, just very small. You know. Oh, there we go. So, sort of fluorescent. Does react to UV. Definitely won't need much glue. Seems to be stuck. Yep, yeah, it's stuck onto the exacto knife thingy. Now me. Ah, not desirable. Oh, damn. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Out of focus. There we go. Let that dry. Ah, it's falling. It's okay. Now you don't want it to be too pointy, obviously. It's more of a display thing. But if you do choose to shoot at the uranium glass, which has 2% uranium dioxide in it, will probably shatter upon impact into whatever you're shooting at. Pretty nasty. If you want to get some radioactive material into something. Which is not a good idea. Give the super glue a little bit to dry. Now, I've already shown on the radiation test of this in part one, but I'll do it again once I've finished. However, it doesn't take much to block the radiation from something so small, so. But some still makes it through a little coin wallet, one of these, which I'll be putting it in.
little bit gummy. Don't want it melting the plastic wallet, so I'll wait a couple of minutes. I think I'll make a few more of these. Got these here. One still needs another electrolytic rust, de-rusting. Look at that. Ooh. Scrap crossbow bolts. Get the fan on it. Dry a bit quicker. Big fan. Yeah, that's working. Working well. Hope this hurries up. Because it's probably releasing gamma particles into my face. However, I do accept the risk. I don't recommend you do. Looks about done. Find out now. Yep, that's dry. It's no longer gummy. That didn't take very long. Placing it in the coin wallet. Jam on a staple through it. This is being cut down a little bit. Poke some holes first, since the staple is no longer sharp, having cut it down. There we go. Also, wood's very soft, you could easily push it in. There we go. It's all the way through. 
Tom. One nuclear crossbow bolt. That'll look very nice on a wall or some such. There you go. DIY nuclear weaponry. Till next time.